Hey new Deccan players, hope everyone is doing well. So although I'm generally trying to build my channel around helping new players, today I want to look at a technique that's slightly more advanced and that's around doing instant while running moves. I spent a fair bit of time looking through YouTube videos when I was trying to learn this technique and some were great and others well to be honest were completely hopeless. So I thought I would create my own and break it down so even players who struggle with their execution like me will be able to master it with practice. I have a playlist on Tekken Guides which is now on screen. This will go over button inputs and various other bits of jargon and terminology for Tekken and other fighting games. So you may want to watch that if you're unfamiliar with certain terms that we're going to use for this video. Before I go on, I just want to say another really big thank you for those of you who have subbed to the channel. For some reason, one of my recent videos where I talk about picking Paul as a main has got a lot of attention and views on YouTube and I've no doubt this has been helped by all the likes and the comments that you guys have left. So once again, just a really big thank you. If you're interested in videos aimed at new players learning this game, please hit the sub button and together we'll continue to grow the channel. Okay, so with that all out of the way, let's talk about today's guide, which is instant while running moves. Okay, so before we get started, the obvious question is, what is instant while running? As you're probably aware, there are certain moves that you can access in this game from the running stance. To enter a running stance, you need to hit the forward button three times, or you can hit the forward button twice while continuing to hold it down. Once you're running, you can now enter the command using the one to four buttons for the move you want. So classic examples of while running moves are Dragonov's while running two and King and Armor King's shining wizard. So, in order to get a while running move, you generally need to have enough space and time to enter the forward buttons quickly enough. However, there is a quote unquote hidden, well, it's not in the move list, way of actually getting an instant while running stance where you can basically do it at point blank range. So stay tuned and I'll share that method with you. As always, I like to explain why it's worth learning something before explaining how to do it. Now this is character specific, so let's look at those characters that rely on the while running attacks the most. With Dragonoff, his while running 2 is a fantastic move in general as it gives you loads of plus frames on block, good damage on hit, and it launches on counter hit. However, if you can only do it from far away, then you're making it very telegraphed, which makes it much easier to step and punish. If, however, you can do it at point blank range, then this makes stepping the move much harder, and you can actually do it multiple times back to back. So if you can do multiple RAL running twos, you can lock your opponent down and really start to push them to the wall. With King and Armor King, if you enter the running stance and then press 3 plus 4, you get a Shining Wizard. However, if you can learn to do an instant Shining Wizard, or ISW, it's really, really helpful for multiple reasons. First, you can use it as a genuine throw mix-up between ISW and Giant Swing from either a quick dash or after a jab string. Second, you can use it as a mix-up out of a wave dash. Third, it can be used as a combo ender in some of King's and Armor King's more tricky technical combos, but it will give you the max damage. And finally, and probably the most fun, on the Forgotten Realm stage, if you begin the combo with an ISW to break the floor instantly, then due to the scaling of this game, you will do a lot more damage in your combos. It's probably also worth mentioning that, similar to Dragonoff, if you're doing the Shining Wizard from far away in a running stance, you're really telegraphing what move is coming, which gives your opponent much more time to break the throw. Okay, so having covered the why, let's now go into the how. So there's technically three ways you can do these while running moves. First, if you have the finger dexterity of a rock climbing jazz pianist, you can just tap forward three times really, really quickly. Now maybe if you're on a keyboard, or if you're God himself, then you can do this. I, however, am too old and too slow to do this on a pad, so I use the other methods. The second way is that you hit forward, then neutral, then forward forward while hitting the 1 to 4 button on the exact same frame as the final forward. So, to put it more simply, for Dragonoff, this would be forward, neutral, then forward, forward plus 2. Again, with the forward plus 2 on the exact same frame. And finally, there is the third way, which is the one I like to use, which is to go forward forward, neutral, then forward plus the 1 to 4 command. So again, using Dragonoff as our example, this would be forward, forward, neutral, then forward plus two on the exact same frame. 
For both of these options, as I've kind of mentioned, the key is to press the 1 to 4 buttons on the exact same frame on the exact same time as the forward input, so no gaps in between. So for ISW, the 2 plus 4 must be hit exactly on the same frame as the forward button and the timing is very strict. Neither of these options are right or wrong or harder or easier, so it comes down to personal preference. Personally, I find it easier to hit forward forward neutral forward because I find if I have a split second gap in the form of a neutral then I'm more likely to hit the, in this case, 3 plus 4 on the exact same frame. Another way to think about trying to get the time is to think of it like this. I like to think of 1, 2 and 3 where AND is a neutral and 3 is where you hit all the buttons at the same time. So 1, 2 and 3, 1, 2 and 3. That being said, reading the comments on YouTube, it seems that most people prefer to press one forward, then neutral, then two forwards. But it's personal preference and you just gotta practice to see what works for you. Now, once you think you've got the technique, here's a couple of drills that you can practice. So with Dragonoff, put the dummy to the wall and then set it to block. Then see if you can do it at point blank range. If you can, congratulations, you've done it. For bonus points, see if you can do it multiple times back to back and this will really help you dial in the timing. With King and Arm King, I find the best drill is to practice launching a dummy with a hop kick, then go straight into an ISW. Remember though, not to begin the ISW until after you've landed from the hop kick and King is fully recovered. This is also a useful thing to practice because as I mentioned, this is a great tool to use on the Forgotten Realm stage. Okay, if you're really feeling yourself and you think you've got this mastered, then try to do that as an ender in this combo. So with King, you need to do side step two, forward, forward, one, down, forward, four, three, one, and then instant shining wizard for the finish. But as I said, that instant shining wizard is pretty tight, but if you can do it, then give yourself a big pat on the back. Okay, well I hope that has helped you. Although this method is certainly easier than hitting forward three times at lightning speed, like everything, it does take practice, but at least it gives you something to do on the loading screen while you're waiting for your next match. If this video has helped you, please hit the like button or leave a comment so more players will see it in their feeds. Thanks guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.